Okay, right, well, I'm starting on the Muttley plane and I, th I can't wait to do it. So this is what I'm basing on. A, what, 4XL undercarriage, I believe. Uh, a, 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 this is an old baking tin that I cut out once for years ago to make a cowling. So I'll use that, I suppose. There is no plans whatsoever. And as you can see, I'm just gonna use whatever scrap wood I've got left in that. And that really is scrap wood. That's it. And what bits and bobs. But in the plan, the plan is basic, right? Because I'm gonna base it on a cartoon, in the sense, the wing tips. So the wing tips will be a cartoon type wing tips. And I've based these ailerons from Muttley's teeth, bless him. And that, because they're sharp and they hurt. The undercarriage again, probably put something like CD missiles on the edges here and that and um, or guns depending on how I feel I might be sitting in there the fuse is basic uh, I'm gonna set the wing in the middle of the fuse this time not on the top or bottom so it looks more comical I might actually lift the wing uh, angle it like uh, so the wings sort of like sort of like this really roughly I'm not sure how well it'll fly but I was thinking of doing it like that trying to draw it flat and up see what I mean so it's got a kind of resting up but I'm not sure yet because that would probably look more cartoonish comical and that's the idea same with the elevators kiddie thing pointy tail because that's comical I suppose that's just a basic same sort of way I've done the previous plane box section fuse that there is just the rough shape of the fuse it will be it probably changed by the time we get around it and this bit here I thought well if you look at Muttley I'm grabbing by the scruff of the neck I try to like think well at the front of the fuse I'm going to try and copy the same as his head so I'll give it a rough idea, you know. So overall, Martley, do I get the approval or are you going to bloody moan like usual? Have a look and have a good look. What do you reckon? You alright with that? What do you mean if I say yes you get a medal? No, I'm telling you. Okay, okay. You happy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Anything to get it made, yeah? Okay, you think Dick Dastley will be upset? Yeah, well, that's his problem, isn't it? Okay then, oh, I'll put you back where you belong. Stay there. <laughs> He's back. Right, so that's the idea, chaps and girls and whatever. And that's exactly what I'm going to base it all on. Uh, it's going to be like roughly the same size as a Watt Ford type limbo dancer. Maybe a bit wider wing, depending on what I do with the middle section, if I do extend it and bend it up. Other than that, but it, you know, it's only at scale. Uh, and we'll go from there but obviously things change as you go along as other ideas pop into my head you know but I'm gonna make this one as cartoon as possible like so uh, I did look at all the designs off the other thing but some of them are just not physically possible to fly uh, this will at least will hopefully fly you know but it will look very cartoonish and I really not a clue about the colors yet so but um, it is gonna be daft but this is it and I've got exactly 20 days to do this in in fact that's a lie I've got about 15 days to do it in because another five days to pack the workshop away or what I can do with it and move so this is really a challenge and a half so there you have it in a nutshell and I'm hoping to use the um, and it's an F a four stroke I can't remember what it is an 80 I think or 81 that's coming to me thanks to Ron so anyway that's that so onwards and upwards eh <laughs> Charlie says not to play with strangers <laughs> okay there you go right and bye